us your story then. How did you get started in out of school time programming? Of course, I'm Ben Trenelman. I'm the executive director with the Utah After School Network, and I am a lifetime product of the after school system. So I actually started attending a summer program at the Marshall White Community Center in Ogden, Utah, every summer when I was in elementary school. And then moving on to middle school, I started attending the Youth Impact Program, where I went almost every day after school, and I got to hang out with friends there. They were patient enough for me and some friends to actually start a band and practice out of the basement there and play at lock-ins and all kinds of things like that. And it was something that was really a a very inviting and, and very embracing experience for me and very empowering. That was one of the first opportunities that I really remember having people that I wasn't very close with at first, the leaders of those programs, uh, identify me as a leader. And so that was something that really stuck out to me and really made me feel like I was very welcome there and that it was important for me to be there. And that it was actually one of the first days that I was there, the leader of that program, Rob Hall, snagged me in the hallway and introduced himself. And he told me, you know, we really appreciate you being here. It, it seems like you're someone that the other kids really respect. I really appreciate you being here and taking the time to spend your afternoons with us. And so after that, I was like, well, yeah, I've got a job to do here. I'm, I'm going to come and, and hang out and everything like that. And so it was actually something that I had my eyes on as I was in college. I, I worked off and on and volunteered at some programs. I worked as a tutor for a little while. And then I had the opportunity to start running a program at the Sugar House Boys and Girls Clubs, where I ran their elementary program. I moved up to their team program, and eventually I was running all of their programs. And I got to bounce around to a few different programs in that organization. I moved to another Boys and Girls Clubs organization where I was able to run six different programs. We, we served over a thousand youth. I had 50 staff that were working with me there. Continued to work through that system until I eventually landed here at the Utah After School Network, where we are a statewide resource for after school providers. And we provide them with technical assistance, advocacy, and professional learning opportunities. Um, and here I've, I've been at the Utah After School Network for nine years now. I worked as the director of operations where I oversaw all of our quality improvement efforts. And then I took over as the executive director two years ago and have been here ever since. And so I really believe in what we do. I believe in everything that it's done for me. And now my kids are in their own programs and I get to see how they're benefiting from everything that they do in after school as well. So. Awesome. I love to see how it comes full circle from mm -hmm. you participating in after school programming. And then now you're at a place where you see, you know, your children participating in after school programming at the same time. I think that's amazing. Yeah, I really love so, it. So how does all that experience lead you or help you or connect you to what you're doing now as executive director? Well, I was, I'm, I was super bought into it all before, you know, and it was something that even as, you know, as a kid, I, I was able to see a lot of the different benefits of it. You know, when I was getting involved in that program in middle school and high school, that was around the time that I had a lot of friends that were starting to experiment with other types of decision making. A lot of those choices that they were making were not really positive. And so, so in that instance, it was something where I was really able to feel more empowered in this program and to feel like, it was more important for me to be a part of something that was more positive than a lot of the things that I saw, some of the groups of friends that I, that I knew that, that, that they were making. And then even as I was growing up, making my career choices, I really had my sights on education. I was going to school. I thought I'd be a, a, an English teacher or a drama teacher and even had the opportunity to teach. And that was kind of like a crossroads moment for me was deciding to pursue an after-school career instead of going to be a drama teacher at a private Catholic high school in Ogden. And so all of these experiences, I really, I feel like every time someone asks me about why after-school is important to me, I feel like my answer kind of shifts because every year that I'm involved in it, you know, all the years that I've spent working with kids all over the city and getting to hear from people all over the state on, on the outcomes and the impacts that they're making, I, I learn about so much more and so many more different impacts, whether it's, you know, when I was running programs that were, you know, those kids that you wanted to take into your own home because you, you love them so much and you saw them going through these really 
difficult and challenging situations. And so that was something that was like, ah, we've got to be here because these kids absolutely need us. And then seeing these kids that learn from the programs and really grow in the programs and start exploring career possibilities and, and getting to see kids. I've been in the after school field long enough that that I have kids that I worked with that were in elementary school that are now parents of their own kids. And and they tell me about things that that they do now for their jobs that they were first exposed to when they were in after school programs. And so that's another one of those things that really helps me like double down on why this work is so important because I've got this long running narrative of all of these different types of stories and all of these different types of impacts where I've seen it work from the beginning of a kid's story to them growing up and becoming an adult and becoming successful and seeing them as adults on social media and being like, that is an amazing human being. And I got to play a minor role in how they grew up into that and everything. And so it's, it's, it's really important for me and, and something that I really do care deeply about. And I feel like every day I get to talk to other providers, it just further anchors me in the work that we do because of, of all the amazing outcomes and stories that we get to hear. Right. So I guess my follow-up question for you is, how did those experiences prepare you for now? Well, I think a lot of, you know, in working in all of these programs and getting to be a participant in programs, I got to see a lot of what works and what doesn't work. In working in programs, you know, I tell people that the after school field really is something that to really understand uh, as you enter this field, you got to spend a year kind of going through all of the different annual milestones. You've got to know what school registration is like. You got to know what holiday time is like, you've got to know when, what the closure, closures are like, you've got to know what all of these things are like. Um, and, and so the more of those things that you get to experience, the more prepared you are for the following year. Um, and so I've gotten to go through that. I've been in the after school field for close to 20 years now. And so I've got to gotten to see a lot of that. I've got to, a lot of, to make a lot of mistakes myself and, and to learn from those and to see other people on their journeys and to learn from those things. And so now in my position at the Utah After School Network, where we work with, you know, a couple hundred after school programs that are serving, you know, 30,000 kids around the state, um, I get to see that on such a grand scale. So at the same time that I'm seeing programs that are working through struggles and working through areas that they need to improve. I'm also seeing all of these amazing successes. And so I have a TED, like a 10,000 foot view of all of these things happening at the same time. And so that really helps to inform me on what works really well, what is still a challenge, what are things that we need to work through now, or even being in the position we are now of having work through this pandemic, seeing the state of Utah develop this whole big state, statewide culture of continuous quality improvement, and then entering a pandemic and seeing that all kind of fall at the wayside, and then having to get into this rebuilding phase. And so now it's like a really amazing opportunity because no one for generations has been in the position we are of being, being able to watch a society rebuild itself after being taken apart for a little while or coming together under different circumstances and all having been impacted on so many different levels. Um, mm. And so I think everything that I learned helped to prepare me for navigating that situation. And now I feel like we're taking all of these tools and using them in different ways than how we were prepared to before, because we all interact in different ways. We all uh, I, I feel like our, our our trust of one another is a little bit different these days and how we navigate that and how we're willing to open up and be vulnerable in front of one another. And so the process of learning is even very different right now. Um, and so I'm really grateful for all of the times that I faced challenges in this field before the pandemic, because I felt like we were able to step into this position and really just say, okay, well, we've when we were running programs, you, you faced challenges like this every single day and you made it through those things. And so now we can take this thing on a much bigger scale. And we know that it's like, sure, survived a pandemic. It's just like the time that that kid threw up in the cafeteria and we had to move the dodgeball game or, you know, all of the different problems that we face in programs and just keep on moving through and keep on overcoming and, and everything like that. I think that 
the after school field in itself is about tenacity and perseverance and and moving forward despite challenges 